Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about some uh, the Guild Roster Manager add-on that kind of can be used. Uh, it kind of caters towards uh, the officers and the leadership of a guild, but really any player can use it because there's a lot of in useful information. Like for example, um, take a look at my player right here. I'm mousing over it. It's telling me, instead of having to click on each name, you just have to mouse over. Now it's telling me some useful information. It's telling me the date that I joined the guild. It's telling me promotion information it tells me how long I've been at that rank let's take a look at this one player right here let's say Benzema he joined the guild a couple days ago um, and he was just the base rank for one day which is kind of like a temporary rank and then he got promoted and as you can see he's only been at that rank uh, one day in the guild um, some few other pieces of information some of the most important stuff is now I have additional information like I have the players whose the main is and I have all their alts um, and adding an alt is actually really simple um, all I have to do is I just let's say I remove arc a lot from the alts and uh, as you can see right here arc a lot now doesn't have anyone in the alts now I can do it two ways one I can add uh, arc a lot just by adding any of the players alts and it'll automatically repopulate me um, but let's say I remove him again I can just now add it myself here and it's it's really that simple um, it's not hard at all uh, you can also change people's mains um, so let's say and you can click on each of these alts to bring you to their specific player one. so let's say I go to Darcy yeah Darcy's not the main Archon is um, I don't even have to be an Archon's thing, and I can make him the main. It's that simple, and now I go back. I can also right-click D-Mode. I can reset their data. Uh, it's really useful. And another really powerful feature is that when those players chat in Guild Chat, if they're on an alt, it'll tell you the, who their main is in the Guild Chat as well. It'll tell you that they're Guild Chat. It'll tell you if they whisper you, and so on. Uh, another thing is you're going to get information of how long people that are online, it'll tell you as well, not just their zone, it'll tell you how long they've been in that zone. If they're AFK, like uh, like for example, I'm gonna put myself AFK right now, and it takes a second to trigger it, but uh, but once uh, once it detects the I'm AFK now, now I, have, I can right click, notify when the player is active again, or I can notify if the player goes offline, either one. So I'm gonna jump, and we'll give it a second, but it's going to detect the change um, pretty uh, pretty quickly. Um, just waiting for it. Yeah, see, notification, Archon is no longer AFK or busy. This is really useful, like if you're really trying to, to get a guildy, uh, it just helps you save a little bit of time. You don't have to keep spam whispering them until they finally come back to their keyboard. Uh, another thing is your player notes. Um, you have, now have character counts in them, and you have a new feature, which is the custom note. And I've given you an extra 150 characters to add whatever you like to. Like, as you can see, I have my Discord name. Uh, and that's not even accurate. It's actually Archon. And so, uh, and so this is my custom note. The most powerful feature of this add-on is that all of this info syncs with other users in the guild that are sharing the info. So not every player has to configure all of the alts. Um, all they have to do is just sync the data to them. And you can filter the ranks on who you want to sync with and who you don't. Basic information like alts and join dates and stuff like that, yeah, maybe open that up to uh, whoever, but maybe these custom notes, maybe you don't want everyone to see them, um, so you're going to go ahead and uh, filter them. You know, like I have this alt. Now, this particular one, I, you know, it's just my Discord name. I'm going to share it with everyone. So whoever is the lowest rank or higher, they can see my Discord name. But let's say you have some really important info that you only want your officers to see. Well, when they log in and they sync with you, they'll be the only ones that see it. It's really, it's configurable in the settings. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, there's some pretty powerful features. So you kind of get an idea on this and this is just kind of the basic stuff but now we check the log and this basically uh, detects uh, various changes in the guild from people that join the guild it'll tell you who who invited them if they're promoted or they're demoted it'll tell you who did it um, it'll even say when it happened um, it does check the actual log if if uh, 
the actual guild info log. Um, you can see who leveled. Uh, and I can set it so I can see everybody's level. You can filter which levels you want to see. You can turn notifications off if you don't even want to see them. Let's say you want to be notified if an inactive player comes back to the guild. Like, uh, this person has been active for two months in ten days, and they've come back. Uh, it'll detect name change uh, if the, somebody renames a rank in the guild. Um, various infos. Let's check the left players. Another really neat thing that I kind of do is I have a search here so you can really easily filter things. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if a player leaves the guild, sometimes they're quitting the guild and sometimes they're just server transferring away and you don't know why. Um, well, what happens is when they leave the guild, it does a server check and it'll actually tell you that, you know what, this person left the guild and they're no longer in the service. Most likely they server transferred. Or this player left the guild, they just quit. You see, um, it is possible they quit the guild and then they name change and then the add-on wouldn't be able to know. Um, but most likely, if it says players no longer on the server, it's because they actually transferred off the server. So it'll tell you what alts they still have less left in the guild. A uh, really cool thing as well is if a player that's been offline a long time, they uh, <clears throat> they return to the or they quit the guild and then they return. If they quit the guild when the add-on was installed, it'll actually log that and save their information so if they ever rejoin the guild it'll notify you something like you know this is the date they left which was 20 days ago and the date they originally joined the guild and their original rank it's pretty neat um, i also have a ban list um, that you can create um, you can add bands to it in a couple of different ways one let's just say i add a band right here um, let's say it's to a guild uh, an alt of mine i recently kicked just for fun um, this, this doesn't know because this was just a custom name. Best guy ever is not the actual best guy ever. This ban list syncs with everyone. Let's say I add <clears throat> Rochester, who is a warrior, and I'm going to say keyboard turning new. And, uh, and, and then I'm gonna, it's going to ask me if I, if I really do want to kick them. I'm going to say yes, and well, it detected that this player used to be in the guild, and so it knows their old rank. And so it was uh, confident. And now I can uh, create new bands. I can remove bands. Um, here's another really neat thing. Let's say I add somebody that's still in the in the guild, Archelot, and uh, he's a noob. It'll tell me that this player is still in the guild. Um, so let's. And now if I go over to Archelot. You can see as I mouse over it, well, Arcanaut, warning, this player was previously banned, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and ignore that ban, because it's not important. It's a made-up ban. But uh, I'll give you another example of how you can do it. Let's say I, I go to uh, one of my alts, uh, let's say Darcy. So I come over here to Darcy. Let me just find him real fast. Uh, oh, right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove Darcy from the guild. And it gives me the option, do I want to ban the player? Yes. Well, do I want to ban the player's 11 alts as well? Yes, I want to ban all of the alts. And so now when I add a ban, uh, uh, bad player, okay, for whatever reason, and I confirm it, it now kicks them from the guild but it also notifies me all of the alts that are still in the guild and why they've been banned and it auto bans all of them. Now you do have to manually go over there because there's a patch 7.3 add-ons can no longer kick or promote, demote and stuff like that. So you do need to manually go over each one. Um, and then of course you can remove them and I'll eventually get to removing them again. Um, that's kind of the power that you have with this add-on is that it's all configurable and if I come over to the options and I come over to the sync information well you know what these general sync changes I'm gonna share with everyone in the guild in fact I can even set it to where I'm gonna share with most people in the guild however I'm only gonna send my outgoing data to players but I'm not gonna allow people below a certain rank to make changes. And that's what this checks for. 
Um, the ban list, I only want my elite or higher to be able to see that. Uh, let's say custom notes. You know what? I want most people to see it. Or I only want my elite or higher ranks to see changes to the custom notes. Um, and it's kind of like that. And this check only sync with up-to-date add-on users. Um, it's pretty, you can actually generally leave that unchecked, but if there is a major update and there's new sync data, then sync will fail if you're trying to sync, so that's, that's why that's an option. Um, you can add a join date as the players join the guild automatically to either the officer or the public notes. Uh, another thing is uh, I have a feature where if a player requests to join the guild, um, it'll show you that. I'm going to reload just so you kind of see how this works. It's kind of neat. Um, this is a really powerful feature just because knowing when players requested to join is already kind of a pain. Even worse, knowing when a player is offline or online that's requested. There's, it's really tedious. And so um, let's say, so what I have right here is, well, look at that. Four players have requested to join the guild. Click the link. Okay, so I'm going to click on this uh, link and it automatically brings up the recruitment window. And it actually now tells you whether they are offline or they're online. Even better, if a player comes online, you'll get a notification in the chat box that says, so-and-so has requested to join the guild and is now online. And then you can uh, instantly chat with them. It makes it just save so much of your life's effort of trying to track those down. Um, kind of minor features, you now have character counts and the message of the day, guild information, um, pretty minor stuff. Uh, another cool thing is adding events to the calendar. I see I don't have anything here. Um, but basically what this is, is if let's say a player's got a, an upcoming anniversary, um, let's say I wanna know all events upcoming within four months, or four weeks, excuse me, so one month. So I change the date so I can get a little bit more information to one month from now. What's going to do is it's going to uh, scan the guild. Uh, it's possible I don't have any because I've already added them all. So let's go ahead and I'll just... Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so I've got three players coming up that have had some changes occur. So I come to my events list and you know what? Look at this. Fletcher has an anniversary on May 17th. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add that to the calendar. And now you can see right here on May 17th, I've got Fletcher's anniversary. They'll be celebrating one year in the guild. It'll tell you if it's three years or five years, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and do this with all the players. And I'm going to add them to the calendar. Uh, oops. There we go. So as you can see, I now have Fletcher, Large Tusk on the 11th, and Cheese on the 14th anniversaries on the calendar. It's really that simple. Uh, plenty of configuration options, like if you want to show the main name in chat, you don't want to see who the main name is. Uh, if you don't want to see the log when you log in, uncheck it. Or maybe you only want to show it if the log changes. You can change the colors of the notifications. You can sync it so all of your alts that log in have these same settings. Change uh, scaling for fonts. You can change the fonts. You can change the language, though, with that being said, I don't have uh, much information on these languages. Uh, German's about the only one. I almost have a, com a complete translation on that's coming, um, aside from English. Another big thing that's useful is the audit log, and this basically just scans over your guild and lets you know uh, what you still have left to complete. So, like, for example, I have 139 out of 313 players that are incomplete. And as you can see right here, I don't have uh, Blood Rain's info. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is um, uh, Shia's alt. See, so this is, this is his alt. And so now that's configured and I can come back here. And as you can see, this automatically updated. Now I don't have a join date, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, and if you're paying attention over here where it says Blood Rain, I'm gonna set it to all the earliest join dates, and it automatically updates these for this player. Um, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Um, if let's say I want to search the guild log, I can just 
uh, go to this player and I'm going to uh, control shift click and it'll automatically search them in the log and I guess I don't have anything on this player. Um, it'll tell me how many mains, uh, unique accounts. This is not always accurate from the server. You can set some things like you don't know. Uh, overall, the main point of this is just uh, configuration, flexibility, and knowledge, so you can kind of know what to do. Um, the, uh, the log itself has some powerful features um, like filtering, you can shift click lines that you can delete them. Let's say I don't want line 15 to 20, and then as you can see it highlights them and I can confirm to clear them. Uh, control shift click let's just remove them and you can kind of clean it up that way you can even export the log and it's easily copy and pasteable into like a word file or text document or something like that uh, if you have any suggestions or recommendations I always love to hear them on uh, discord is pretty much the best way to get that information out there um, but otherwise I uh, hope you enjoyed the add-on I know this was a little bit longer but it just kind of went into uh, almost all the features of the add-on so uh, again, thank you. Enjoy.